Okay, I've talked to you about GoodNotes and I've talked to you about Adobe Acrobat. Now there are other programs out in the world that can add text and photos to PDFs. I use my Family Tree Notebooks pages all the time, so I, I need to be using a program that I trust and feel comfortable with. Um, so I've stuck with the two that I know. However, I just want to I want to let you know that these options are out there. So consider this not necessarily that I am recommending any of these, but I know that these are out there. I know there are people in the community that use them. I wanted you to be aware of them. And let's talk about some of the options and pros and cons of using one of these programs to add text and photos to your Family Tree Notebooks pages. Here's the thing, there. if you just look for a PDF program, you can see right off of Google that people are trying to figure out, okay, well, what can I do with a PDF that's completely free? You know, what can I do with a PDF without paying for it? And then there are questions about, is this safe? What's the safest editor? That's going to be because there are programs that can mess with your files. There are programs out there that, you know, there have been issues with viruses. I mean, we don't, hear about that as much as I feel like as we used to 10 or 20 years ago, but it's still a problem. And there are programs that are just kind of scammy and not that great. But when I was looking around, I decided to look at what the people in our community were saying and, you know, listen to people saying that they were having good experiences with such and such program. So that's where these programs are coming from. Okay, so let's talk about Foxit Reader. There are a lot of people in the community that are using Foxit Reader. Here's the thing about Foxit. There are different versions and the different versions have different options. So if you just look at Foxit right from the get go, we can see, okay, there's a powerful PDF reader, but up there, there's a thing that says free trial at the top. It says, get a quote. This is indicating that at some point you're going to have to pay for something. So this is not a free PDF program. If we look at the features, we can see, okay, you can read PDFs, you can print PDFs, and then there is something that says fill PDF. The question is, is this form filling like when you, you know, fill out a tax form online and you've just got this little box and you can add in letters or numbers, or can you fill a PDF with an image? Because what we need to be able to do is to not only add text, we need to be able to add images. So if we click around, we've got not only PDF reader, we have PDF editor, PDF editor, create, edit, and sign anywhere. Well, this sounds a lot more, this sounds a lot like what we would want to actually use a program for, right? Because we need to add text and images. If we look at um, the pricing for PDF editor, there's four different options. We've got options all the way from PDF editor pro down to PDF editor cloud. And you can see that it tells you what you can do with each of the programs. What we want to be able to do is edit. And the good news is that every single one of these indicates that edit is one of the things that you can do. Uh, I would definitely want to try the free trial though and see if I liked it and make sure that what I was trying out was what I was going to turn around and pay for. Okay, moving on from Foxit, let's look at Zoto. So Zoto is a different uh, PDF program. And again, when you go to the website, one of the top things that you're going to be able to notice is that there's a free trial button on the top. It also says you have one action for free today. Go Zoto Pro for unlimited access. Well, what's an action? Okay, so Zoto has a lot of different tools and these tools are the actions. And you can see under edit, it has PDF editor and it has all of these different things you can do with PDFs. And then it has these other things where you can... Uh, convert things to PDFs and you can combine them and do all sorts of stuff. But that PDF editor, that's going to be an action. Unfortunately, it's not just that you open a PDF and then edit it. Every single edit you make to a PDF is an action. The reason that becomes a problem is because with the plans and pricing, there is a free Zoto option, but that's because you only get three actions per day. If you are editing your pages using three free edits a day, it's going to take you a very long time to complete a family tree notebook. Uh, I would not recommend that. So then you can look at, okay, well, Zoto Pro is $9 a month if you bill, 
yearly, that's 108 annually. So that's twice as much as what we just saw from Foxit Reader. But maybe you like this one better or it has more tools that you think that you would use and um, all of that. So you could try this free trial as well. I mean, that's the thing. The only reason that I am a little bit nervous sometimes with free trials is because if they take your information and you forget to cancel, then you might end up paying for something that you don't want. So just be wary of that. Make sure that you're setting reminders or something like that if you need to cancel. Okay. The other one that I want to talk about is Wondershare, Wondershare PDF Element. So Wondershare PDF Element is one of those programs they claim that they're, you know, fast, affordable, easy way to edit uh, PDFs. And again, you get on there and you can see there's a free download, but it also says buy now, which indicates that there's going to be some sort of price. If we look at what Wondershare PDF element says that they can do, edit PDF like Word, that might be very reassuring to somebody who's familiar with Word and um, wants things to be you know, more comfortable. And it says right there, you can add text, images, and shapes to PDFs. Adding text and images to PDFs is all we're trying to do. So that's great. And there's a free download, so you can try it out. So then it's just a question of price. And if we go to pricing, we can see that for individuals, there is a yearly plan for $80 and then a two-year plan and a perpetual plan. Um, so theoretically for $130, you could pay once and never have to pay again. You would probably want to try out the program first though. Just watch that free trial. And again, it's tough because I really would love it if you guys just all used GoodNotes because I love GoodNotes so much. But um, and it's so affordable compared to these options. But of course, it's affordable, but it's only running on devices and computers that are not so affordable. So anyway, those are the only options that I'm going to talk about. I hope that you're not watching this feeling frustrated because you didn't like any of those options and you really wanted me to pull the magic free PDF editor out of my hat that, you know, you hadn't heard of. To be honest, between you and me, I cannot believe that plain old Google hasn't tackled this and figured this out. I feel like if Google had some free way for people to just upload PDFs and add text and images, they would be putting all sorts of companies out of business. And it doesn't seem like it would be that tough. But from my lips to Google's ears, hopefully that message gets across. In the meantime, um, we're just going to have to use other programs and figure it out.